What's up pack members, it's Weird Spirit Alpha here and welcome to another video. So this is something I actually have not done in a while. This is a Lego set review. So the Lego set we got this time is Transfiguration Class from the Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts Moment series. So this is actually a pretty interesting lineup of, well, about counting this one, about six different books. I have them all, I'm going to showcase them all. And this is actually kind of an interesting concept considering, you know, they act as books, but they're also scenes from the movie, which is actually pretty cool. So, this here is Transfiguration Class. It's the Gryffindor representative, because there's one for each of the four houses and then two extras. But yeah, like I said, this is Transfiguration Class, and it looks pretty cool. So, yeah, you see, there's the front of it. The back doesn't have anything on it, and these are little connectors which you'll see how it works towards the end, and you see it has this little book. Kind of that's a little bit off, but you'll see why when we open it up. And then on this side, we have like the book cover, which has the, like, well, a goblet with the rat tail, which is actually kind of cool, because that's a little bit of a reference to the movie. Anyway, let's go ahead and open it up, and before we open it up, though, you see we have three main figures. We have Professor Esther McGonagall, Ron Weasley with Scabbards, his rat, and then Hermione Granger, who's actually holding a book. And the something cool about it is the fact that you can actually open up the books and see inside them. It's a little bit hard to see, but that's just the image, and the text is too small to make out. So, yep, it is a cool little concept that we, that we have these books now, or these many opening books in Lego now. Let's take off the Mayfairs, and I do want to point out, I am a fan of the new skirt piece that LEGO has given us for this, because it used to be just a solid, like, sloped or inclined LEGO brick that just connected, and that could easily break off, where this one, it actually has the proper minifigure leg connectors, or whatever call them on it, and this is actually a much smoother feeling piece, so that's very nice, so, yep. Mayfair design fits, or yeah, the design of Mayfairs look excellent. So, let's go and open up the book. So, just opens up like so. And there are a few things that you gotta remove. So, yep, gotta take some of this off. And, you know, just, you know, sometimes I forget how to put everything back together, so do bear with me. Yeah, but that goes there. Now, take this off. I can just sit to the side and whoops. Yeah, sometimes the connectors are a little off, but it's okay. So this would go here. And you know, there's different ways that you could interpret this. Oh yeah, and those slide as well. And you can either do them all the way out or part way, whatever you want to do. But yep, that can go there, that can go there. And then, you know, you can position all the main figures to your choose, but I would imagine Professor McGonagall go here, Hermione can go here, and then Ron go here. doesn't matter which way you put them on the chairs. It's going to be the same way regardless. But, you know, I guess that one looks works a little better. And now I think about it, inside the chest, you know, we have a bunch of different stuff. Like, we have, like, frogs, some other things, and a goblet. So, you know... The idea behind this set right here is obviously this is representing the scene from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, which is the second Harry Potter movie. And, you know, when they were, like, you know, the main point of the scene was to discuss the Chamber of Secrets and the four most powerful wizards of all time, which are obviously, let's see if I can remember their names properly, Gorgit Gryffindor, Salazar Slytherin, Rain and Ravenclaw, and Helpful Huff Hufflepuff. Now, I think that's right. If I'm wrong, forgive me. But, you know, still pretty cool. And Chamber of Secrets is one of my favorite Harry Potter movies, in my opinion, at least. And not to mention, not only is the set itself kind of basic, and, you know, it may seem like a basic set, but the concept is really cool, in my opinion. And the amount of detail they put into this is actually pretty amazing. Like, how it looked exactly like the, or at least close to... The classrooms that you would see at Hogwarts, and it's also worth knowing you can also open up the thing. Although there's no detail in there, sometimes they add detail, but not always. 
and on the chalkboard, you know, it obviously has the idea of, you know, like converting animals into goblets or whatever. It might be a little hard to see. There you go, that's a little bit more clear. Of course, you know, they show a frog becoming a goblet rather than... Is that a frog? Yes. You know, rather than like in the movie, which was a toucan or whatever kind of bird that was, like becoming a goblet. And then Hopsy, Ron, tried to, you know, do the same thing, but due to his wand being broken in the film, his goblet, which he tried to make out of scabbards, scabbards, sorry, had a tail and fur, so, you know, that's not good. But overall, this set is rather basic. But I do really like it. I am really fascinated by the concept of these Hogwarts moments sets. Because I'm also a big Harry Potter fan. So, yeah. I do think that's really cool. And even the desk right here is also good on detail. Even if it's just a simple design. It looks pretty cool. But anyway, that's pretty cool. And I don't know if the characters have different faces. Let me check. Okay, they do. So, Hermione's is, you know, either simply smiling... Or she can look really scared. So, yep. I imagine Ron's is the same way. Let, let me double check. So he has happy face. And, yeah. Well, I guess his is more shocked and happy. Or, than scared. So he has his basic happy face. And then, like, I guess it's more of a disturbed than a scary face. Probably because he's tried to turn scabbards into a goblin and it failed. But, yeah. And then I think Professor McGonagall also has a second face. So let's see, that's her normal face, if it would become clear. There we go. And the second face, okay, she has the angry look, as if someone messed up. Probably to tell Ron off about his failed magic attempt. But, yep, still pretty cool in my opinion, and, and well, <clears throat> excuse me. And, you know, obviously, now that we've shown the Wizarding World, at least in this set, you know, we can't let Muggles see this. So, oh, to change it back or convert it back, we're going to take the main desk here. Both chairs just kind of connect underneath. So, yep. Then the chalkboard kind of, actually, it's kind of cool. It sits right here. Then I think... Like, how's it going? Yeah, okay, so I think the desk would sit right here. I, now, this is just off the top of my head. Sometimes I forget. And this goes... Well, I need to think. Sometimes I forget. Please bear with me. Let me actually fold it up real quick to see if I'm doing anything wrong. Oh, yeah, I remember how this is done now. So, yep, yeah, this connects here. Well, if I can get it right, that is. <laughs> There we go, that's more like it. And then this desk piece, just gotta kind of fit it properly, and then... Yeah, I think that's about right. Oh, I almost forgot the chest. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry, it wasn't very secure. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Now, close it up like that. Well, if you can get it right. <laughs> well, well, kind of like that, I guess. And then, they don't actually tell you to do this, but I personally like to set the minifigures on top. Whoops. Scabbers came off. Sometimes, sometimes these fairs can fall, but you know, it is what it is. And I was actually having to face them the wrong way, now I think about it. Oh, well, that's okay. It's not that big a deal. Or, yeah, that connects there. Well, there's no certain place to do. I just like to do them a certain way. There we go. Okay. So, yep. And then after that, it's all folded up. So, oh, yep. So that there was the Lego Harry Potter Transfiguration class from the Hogwarts moments. So, as like I said before, I do have all six books. And I am going to review each and every one of them. But, yeah, this was Transfiguration class. So, pretty cool set, if you ask me. Kind of basic, but the concept is cool. And any Harry Potter fan who enjoyed, like, the Chamber of Secrets, which is what this movie is, or movie scene is representing, is pretty cool. So, whatever the case, I think that just wraps this video. So, until next time, this is Spirit the Alpha, signing out. I'll see you guys back in the pack.